You're too close. Let's talk. All you want to talk about is why we didn't stay in the Right, right, you got it. Right. I know a good Cuban restaurant. He's got, he's got wings. It says up there H2A, H2A or something. Uh, we started there. Yeah. Yeah. The President of the United States. and the President of the United States, Ron Craig. continuous seagoing service. Throughout its long and remarkable history, the Coast Guard has adapted itself to many critically important missions. In times of peace, the Coast Guard is responsible for law enforcement, navigation and marine safety, search and rescue operations, and oceanographic research. And during the war, or wars, the Coast Guard has served valiantly. Some of you may not be old enough to remember, but I recall during the great South Pacific invasions of World War II, it was Coast Guardsmen who drove the landing craft on some of the most perilous assignments of that conflict. The contribution those of you here have made in South Florida is further evidence 
of the strength and flexibility of your service. The work you do every day is not easy or safe. The work that you've undertaken on behalf of the South Florida Task Force adds even more hardship and danger. And believe me, each one of you is helping to write another glorious page in the history of the Coast Guard. Each one of you is making a personal contribution to your country far beyond the call of duty. I hope all of you here know the tremendous difference your efforts are making, not only in the lives of the people of Florida, but throughout America. In the short time that it's been in operation, the South Florida Task Force has brought about a 27% increase in drug-related arrests and confiscated over $3 billion worth of illegal drugs. Without your efforts, these drugs would have been on the marketplace, providing profits for organized crime, fueling the drug culture that has done so much damage to so many lives in our society. I'm pleased to be able to say that our drug enforcement and search and rescue capability will be further enhanced by the commissioning of two new ships in Key West today. Prompted by the fine example set by all of you working here in the South Florida Task Force, we're also establishing 12 more task forces throughout America to expand the fight against organized crime, especially the illegal drug trade. This will mean substantial new resources devoted to combating the drug and crime menace. It's due now in no small part you. to your dedication and sacrifice. And I want to take a moment to recognize your outstanding record of readiness and devotion to duty by presenting the Dauntless with the Coast Guard Unit Commendation. I would like to congratulate the entire crew in this occasion and ask Commander Newhoff to accept the medal, symbolic of that citation. One of the most fulfilling moments of any president's life is an opportunity to speak to the men and women who, like yourselves, wear the uniform of our country. You make many sacrifices and endure many hardships for the sake of your belief in our country and the values for which it stands. I want you and your families to know that the American people are grateful to you and they're proud of you. God bless you and keep up the good work. Mr. President, on behalf of the officers and enlisted men of the United States Coast Guard Cutter Dauntless, I would like to present to you the Dauntless Ball Cap in honor of the occasion of your visit to our ship today.
advance it to January, sir? Okay, guys, let's go. Thank you, sir. No, no, going back this way. Going back this way. Going back this way. Back this way. Stage money. Yes, sir, that is real money. That was seized by the Customs Service, the IRS, and by the Which one of you is asking where we're going to get the money? <laughs> this is going to help the deficit being reduced, huh? Mr. President, are you going to move up the tax cuts to January? Are you going to move it up? January. Secretary Vegan says tax moving tax the tax cuts to January. Are you going to do it, sir? What would that do, sir? Watch the boom mics, watch the boom mics. Penny. They're coming over here. What are you asking? Come on over here. Charlie, back, back, up, back to your right, Charlie. To your left, Charlie. This is cool. This is what this is. Penny, come on over here. Over the loan, over the help further stimulate the economy. That's what's so appealing. Are you going to propose it, sir? No decisions have been made yet. Developed by, developed by Attorney General William French Smith, based largely on the example was set by you who in their members and crippled their organizations.
vote of 95 to 1, that bail reform passed the Senate by a vote of 95 to 1 committee. The Congress owes it to the American people to act on these proposals and on the rest of our anti-crime agenda. What you've done here in South Florida is one example of how seriously the American people take the issue of crime and the extent to which...